Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Friday. I'm Father Sam Kachuba. This weekend, the church will celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord. It's a day in which the Christmas season is brought to a close, but we're reminded, most importantly, of the gift of baptism. When Jesus goes into the waters of the Jordan River, he sanctifies the waters that will be used in baptism so that those waters are not just a sign of being cleansed, but actually have the power to affect that cleansing. So what happens when we are baptized? On the day of your baptism, you were washed clean of original sin. On the day of your baptism, you received your identity as a beloved son or daughter of God by virtue of baptism. In baptism, you were united to Christ. You're united to his church throughout the world. The gates of heaven are opened for you. Baptism is a sacrament of salvation. It's necessary for our salvation. And so when a child is baptized, when an adult is baptized, they're opened up to the life of grace. That's the beauty of this sacrament. Now, because of that, because we're opened up to the life of grace, we should want that sacrament to happen as soon as possible. Baptism should take place as soon as it's humanly possible for it to take place. So if you're expecting a child, start making plans for baptism now. Set a date as soon as you possibly can after the child is born so that you can bring them to the, to the life of the church and into the life of grace that God wants to give. A lot of times we delay baptism because we're worried about uh, people being able to travel in from out of town or family being able to be there. And what we do unintentionally when that happens is we create the idea that baptism is really more about the celebration and the family gathering together and less about the child receiving salvation itself. We should reorder our priorities. It's not that it's unimportant to have family there. Of course, it's great to get the whole family together. But far more important is the life of grace alive and operative in the life of that child. So I want to encourage you, don't ever delay baptism for any reason. Another reason sometimes that we get confused when it comes to baptism is we're worried about who the godparents are going to be. The church is very clear about who should be a godparent or a sponsor, both for baptism or for confirmation. A godparent has to be at least 16 years of age, has to be a confirmed Catholic, and should be practicing their faith. What you want in your godparents is someone who's going to live the faith well and support you in raising your child in the faith. What you want in a sponsor for the sacraments is somebody who can show them the way and who most of all will commit to praying for them. A lot of other things have gotten attached to the role of godparents over the years, that they'll be the ones who take in the children if something should happen to the parents or something like that. And those are all very nice and, and powerful cultural things, but they've really got nothing to do with the sacramental part. The role of the godparents in the sacrament is to profess the faith on behalf of the child who cannot yet speak. The role of the godparents of the sponsors is to support that individual person who's being baptized or who's being confirmed in growing in their faith every day. So choose your godparents based on that, not based on whether or not it's their turn in the family or because politically you think you've got to have this person there or that person there because otherwise feelings are going to be hurt. The child receiving the sacrament is the most important. Their salvation is at stake. As we celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord, be renewed in your own baptismal promises, in your own baptismal grace, and remember that the gates of heaven have been opened to you. The, that possibility of salvation and all the graces that God has in store for you are available, available to you because of this gift of baptism. And therefore, that gift of baptism, that first Christian sacrament, that gateway to the life of grace is necessary for us and for everyone we know. God bless you.